This isn't going to be so much of a how-to, but more of a uh, what you could do. Let's build a rotisserie, shall we? Now the title of this video is how to build a rotisserie for your pinball machine, but the thing is I've already built it, okay? I've, I've got mine. <laughs> I don't need to build another one, but I will show you how I built mine and you can either one replicate it two, take notes and write down what you feel that you could do better make those improvements and then have your own rotisserie and have it even better than mine fair play there are all kinds of different ways to go about doing this task guys I've looked at many many different ones online and a buddy of mine actually built this now whether he got his blueprints or his ideas from somebody else I don't know I actually had not asked but whenever this video goes up he'll see it and then maybe he can send me a message and let me know guy but this plan works for me it is actually very low cost and I don't see why I shouldn't share it with you guys. So what I will do is go over the specifications and the materials that you will need in order to build this style of rotisserie. Now I like this design because I can either set it on my shop table and it be at just the right height for me to do all kinds of repairs or fixes or restores or whatever you want to do. But it's also at a great level, so in case, you know, I just want to have it on the ground, I can work as it, I'm just sitting Indian style or just sitting on a chair or one of my little stools and then do work that way as well. It worked both ways. All the materials that I used to build my rotisserie were purchased at Home Depot, so more than likely you can get it at your Home Depot or even your local Lowe's or hardware store. None of my parts required any special ordering online, and it was cheap, and when I say cheap, I want to say material cost was around... 50 60 bucks? Maybe more than that. I may be undercutting it right there, and the most expensive part or parts rather, I will let you know when we get to that. So bring out the rotisserie. So let's go over the components and what you will need in order to build this device. So guys, take these measurements, add them all up, do what you will. You may only have to buy one long board on all of this compared to buying multiple small ones. So just use your head on that for the math. Uh, and not to mention Home Depot will also cut these boards for you. So if you want them to cut your 4x4s or the boards that are here in the base to the specifications that I have, just tell them that you want them cut to this particular length and they can do it for you at no extra cost at that so yeah why not first let's start with the base you're going to need four of these boards they measure 18 inches long by three and a half inches wide and only three quarter inches thick so cut your four by fours you're going to need two 22 inch long sections then you're going to need two 12 inch long sections after all that, that's all your wood portions, and that's going to be the cheapest part because of the rest of the items, that's where it gets a little tricky on the cost. These metal casters, guys, this is where the bulk of the money's gonna go to. I didn't realize these things costed this much until I was adding it all up as I was grabbing each piece. Each little segment's gonna be around five bucks a pop. They also sell this segment right here. I'm gonna zoom in real close so you can see what I'm talking about. This is, I wanna say near the, um, I don't know exactly where at in the store is at. I thought I did in my head, but it, evidently I don't. But there is a section for it. Write it down. Take a picture if you have to. Walk into Lowe's or Home Depot and tell them that you're looking for this. And I'm sure they can direct you in the right direction. Then, of course, you're going to need the portion that holds the 4x4s together. And you will find that in the section where the wood's at, in the patio building area. And then you'll have the connector that connects two 4x4s together. And that's what you're going to need. You will need 
two of those. I took some patio screws and I bolted all those through all the 4x4 points. The C-clamps, I got those from Harbor Freight. They're pretty dang cheap. You make sure that whenever you're doing this with your play field that you have the cushion pads underneath the portion that screws down. Anything that touches your play field, you want some sort of cushion. You don't want to be pressing metal into your play field, fellas. Duh. Now with these specification guys, you should be able to do wide body play fields pretty easily as well because the uh, metal framing that you're going to use to hold your play field measures 36 inches wide and it can completely do a 360 all the way around without touching the ground or the platform that's holding it up. So you wide bodies should be fine. Now you're going to see many variations to the metal casters portion of different types of rotisseries. Uh, my portion, I'm not going to lie, is going to be more expensive to do, uh, but this is the choice that I made to get it to go. I don't have a drill press, so there's other ways that I could have done it to where it could have just slid through like a three-pointed one. It's, it's difficult to explain, but trust me, I know that certain things could have been done better, but this is the way I've done it and it works fine for me so by all means i'm not trying to speak the gospel here guys this is just what works for me take notes improve on it so there it is guys your very own rotisserie that you too can build and own to assist you in your hobby of pinball if this video helped you out guys please leave a comment down below and let me know i have so many ideas and so many videos that i would love to just throw on the channel but i'm actually just pacing myself to slowly put out content so that way it's a continuous feed and hopefully satisfy those needs to keep it interesting if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell guys, that way you can actually be notified of whenever I post new material for your viewing pleasure. Until next time, peace out.